Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. I'm going to do a really simple mod today that I want to show you. Um, this is the Nick Stoll folding buck saw. This is the same buck saw that we sell on our website. We are out of stock right now, but hopefully we'll have them back in stock soon. But you can make your own takedown buck saw, and I have several videos on my channel on ways to make different types of takedown buck saws. I'm a huge fan of the saw. It is much less energy spent to get a better result sometimes than an axe when it comes to bucking wood. And if you get the correct blade, and I use a dry wood blade on my takedown buck saws because the takedown or the dry wood blade does not have the gullets and rakers in it that make really, really rough cuts for like green wood cutting and pruning. Although the saw will cut very well through smaller green wood branches. It also does very well at making smaller cuts and more intricate cuts for woodworking and wood crafting tasks in the bush. And I carry a spare blade and I carry this saw in just a camp craft wax canvas bag, usually in my bedroll or in my pack. And so what I want to do today is I want to show you a really simple mod to this. I did a video not very long ago where I actually showed my axe handle. A lot of people had asked about the marks on the back of my axe handle that were measurement markers so that I had a woodcrafter's yardstick per se in the woods. And you can do the very same thing with this buck saw. And the advantage to this buck saw versus the axe is first of all you've got a very straight piece of wood in the center of this buck saw unless you had a straight held on your axe. The other side of the coin is on this is that you can actually remove the center and have a free moving or lone standing measuring stick, if you will. And all we have to do is put the measurement marks on here and burn them in there permanently. And we're going to use just a cheap wood burner that you buy off like Amazon to put our marks in here. And while our axe handle has very simple inch marks on it, we're going to get a little bit more intricate with this and make ourselves a pretty nice freestanding ruler. Now, the good thing I like about this buck saw, the way Nick's got this design real quick, since we're on this video, is it's set up so that it's got a kerf cut into the back of the handle, and of course you got offsetting the teeth, so you got to be a little bit cognizant of that, but it sits right down on top of itself like that, the bar sits on top, and then you just fold up your windlass device and wrap it up, and you can throw all of that very easily into this bag with a spare blade and you've got a very small package that you can carry into the woods and you can also put this in the camp craft bag that we carry that's made to carry a buck saw and an axe. So that saw also fits really good into this bag which is an axe and saw shoulder carry bag where you can actually put that thing inside of this pouch which is in your seam here and then slide your axe up inside fold the flap over and tie it down and you've got a shoulder carry system for your axe and your saw. So the saw works really well in either one of those systems and I use both of those systems quite often depending on what I'm doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to set everything aside here except this portion and we're going to use this framing square here to get our marks on here where we need them and then we're going to burn them in. And I can come back in here with a square shortly to get these right where I want them. So there's 12 inches right there. We've got 20 inches almost to work with here. This is right out of 20 inch space between the two tenons. So there's my 21 inch marks across here. Now I can burn those in and then I can go back and put the half inch marks in. Either way I decide to do that. But I also want to make sure that my lines are fairly even on the ruler as well. But I think I want to go all the way across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my square in conjunction with this wood burner to make those lines. So I'll come in here and do it like this.
I see where the flat's at versus the radius. Alright, so now we have taken the time to go ahead and burn our inch marks in. We've burned half inch marks up to 12 inches and then we've burned quarter inch marks up to 6 inches. So we have lots of measuring capabilities with this thing now. We've turned it into not only a bow saw but also a measuring device. And you can see I put a hole in the center of this thing right here dead center. And I did that for a reason because now I can use this for a level as well. Okay, so now let's talk about the hole that we drilled and why. What we've done is we've taken a piece of half inch rebar here that's about two inches long and I've just maybe three and pointed one end of it and drilled a hole in it. And now I can hang a piece of bank line off the center of this and use this now as a leveling device by looking at the teeth on my saw to make sure I'm level if I'm building a project. So now I have a leveling device, a plumbing device for plumb lining. I have a measuring stick that goes up to 20 inches with half inch increments to 12, quarter inch increments to six, and I have a takedown buck saw. So I've created four tools in one with some very, very simple modifications and some very simple technology. Guys, well, I appreciate you joining me today out here at Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School for a few simple modifications to a takedown buck saw, and again, this one is a Nick Stoll folding buck saw. It's made out of very hard wood. That's why it took me a long time to get these lines burned into it. But again, now it's a permanent tool. So I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I appreciate everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.